Yosef, just um, just reply to me real quick and just say it started six days ago. Just say that. I'm gonna make it sound like I'm starting six days late in my new video intro. What do you want me to reply? What do you mean? What? Oh my! In <laughs> you kidding? I said six days. <laughs> 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 Six oh, days so ago. Absolute fucking useless. So for this year's dead man mode, we'll be running with Mr. Laginarium, as this is my first ever dead man mode. And our goal is simply to get the bow of Farah blah 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 as fast as we possibly can. The reason why we want the bow ASAP is because it's fucking broken, and we suspect it'll be even more broken because of these sigils. Now today's video is simply our three day journey towards getting the Song of the Elves quests done and also getting the bows. Originally, I was going to do daily vids instead of one big video, but because there's no XP caps, I really didn't have the time otherwise I would have had to either swap a stupid amount of money which is what every other content creator is doing or fall behind and I wanted this dead man mode not to be about content but for me to actually enjoy it so I chose to grind dead man instead of the videos wait so how do we how do we turn on our sigils it says mine are empty you have to be in a bank to use it oh, oh my god we have to turn our sigils on can we do it here no. oh yeah you can nice looks like it's working Oh yeah, mine's working. Oh, I am now level 43 mage in range. Okay, there should be enough bones for at least 44 prayer. Um, we need to be quick though, because we only have a little bit of protection left. Bro, I want this sigil of stamina already. Okay, we actually had enough bones for 49 prayer. I didn't think I needed that many. I think I'm gonna use the rest of my immunity to do some range training and then get ready for our first quest. Thank you, Mr. Ava. Wait, where are you going, Seb? You can't leave through that door. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, <laughs> what a dumbass place. Okay, quest come. Oh, I lost my key! How'd you lose your key? Anyway, 49 thieving, now we can do dig site. Oh, he's there. I fucking knew it. Why the fuck are you guys running? Help me! Bro, I can't believe they left me like that. You know what will never leave me? Ridge wallets. Now the ridge wallets are designed to fit easily and perfectly in your front pocket. It's light, it's sleek, it's industrial, and this wallet can hold up to 12 cards plus more room for cash. And that's actually insane for such a small wallet. Like I cannot believe how much room is in here. Now there are over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, which is the one I personally own right now, aluminium, and also polycarbon. Now these are some very high end materials, basically meaning it's gonna last you for life. And I'm not even joking. I got this carbon one a few years ago. And as you can see, it's still in perfect condition. Rich have also designed them to be made with RFID blocking technology, which basically just protects you from digital pickpocketers. On top of all that, they also have a 45 day return policy. This means that the Rich team is so confident that you'll love it that they've given you 45 days to test drive. And of course, if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. Now, if all that wasn't enough to win you over, Rich has over 40,000 five star reviews. So if you're sick of carrying that big bulky wallet, or just trying to figure out what to get someone for their birthday or Christmas. And what are you guys waiting for? Visit ridge.com slash panic and make sure you use code panic for an additional 10% off. You need to get gaff or you need to go in and out of the doors to make sure he doesn't hit you back. I'm nearly back. I can make it. Ah! Oh bro, I'm so close. Yes, gods. Yes. Yes. You made it? Oh my no, wait, God. yes, I made it. Oh, bro, I you bro 17 HP. <laughs> A few moments later. There's no way that con is still fucking here, bro. And we got away. That was annoying. Dig site quest complete. Temple of Ikov complete. Death Plateau complete. Oh my. Just bopped him on the head. <laughs> Literally just walked up the dad, bopped him on the head, and then walked all the way back. Fun part of Desert Treasure where we get to fail a thousand times on this stupid chest. Would you believe it? I did it on my fucking first try. Can I have your lockpicks before you telly? There is no way, my first try. I used 110. <laughs> I'm gonna start bursting soon, so we might as well get the magical cape. Get a bunch of them just in case. Apparently you can ask this and get 50k. Ooh, that's gonna be super helpful. We can afford these two pieces, so we'll use these to start bursting, I think. And 80 magic. Easy game. I'm gonna have to get the rest of the magic somewhere else because unfortunately Seb died here about 15 minutes ago. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm shitting myself right now. Just let it happen. Yes. 
94 mage and black knight's fortress is done i'm gonna start completing all the quests for piety that is the goal for today so this is how i skate ready Relaxing the bowstring for Finally, 80 range coming in. Scares the shit out of me still. Finally done this quest. One small favor. Whoever made it, fuck you. Alright, how the fuck do we get 30 farming, by the way? By farming? <laughs> how long does it take for a seedling to grow? G G O O. And we have ourselves a glory. What? Oh, it's done for me as well. Nope. Oh, what? Literally, fuck this quest. 65 defense complete. We now have all the requirements for King's Ransom. And that's King's Ransom complete. We also got at least 75 defense, which is one of the goals for this account. Loco, we just bought. Let's attune this. And now we're going to get super XP in smithing, mining, uh, construction. Kind of regret getting that up to 60 now. Bit late though. 69. Now do a quest to get to 70, and that's pretty much done. <gasps> like normally this would take me forever, but this just speeds it up so much more. But because of the sigil, I can literally do what is most efficient. And for me, iron knives are definitely most efficient. And level 70. Oh, 90 range coming in. Leave me alone. Fucking bully, bro. Oh, wait, I party. Ah! Oh! Nice try, fuck! Yes, sir. I mean, no, I'm wood cutting, but please don't kill me. Okay, 70 wood cutting, finally done. Also managed to collect 417 teak clocks, which should help us get us to 70 construction. <music> 70 construction. That's actually pretty quick. And we get. 70 attack. So now we can wear an arm stuff. Now there's a lot of PKs running around, so we did a little bit of swapping and got some decent gear just to help tanking. Because, uh, because yeah, I'm literally playing 12 to 14 hours a day, but I just cannot compete with the people that are swapping. So we don't really have much of a choice. And 70 herb lore. Easy. Now we have a altar. So we get our prayer back up. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. Oh, that was a really quick quest. Another really quick quest. I guess we can go straight onto Underground Pass then. I have to get my agility up. Well, that's gonna be fun. Bro, look at my fucking path. It's literally a straight line. What the fuck? Underground Pass completed. A couple left. 58 agility coming in. Bro, it's fucking sheep. It's stuck on the corner. I can't actually get it. What? Oh, <laughs> no, no way it moves as soon as I insult it. Completed. Now to do the most fun quest in the world, regicide. Hey. Uh, Jagex. Uh, Jag Jagex. One eternity later. And regicide completed. Why Jagex? Braving elves completed. Give me my shield. Thank you. We actually have a good tank shield for once. It's your stupid chicken. Thank you for the XP. Nope. Nope. Yes, finished. Literally fuck this quest. And bam, 70 hunter. He's peasy. We are down to one skill. We just need to get 70 farming and we're good to go. Oh, dexterous prayer scroll for 7 million GPs. Yes, I would like to absorb the power. Ooh. 
Beautiful. And that is the final quest requirement for Song of the Elves completed. So now we'll just get our stats up so we can kill the bosses. And we also need 70 farming and then we're good to go. <gasps> That's not good. Now I'm pretty sure this tree is going to get me 68 instead of 70 feet. And level 95 range. And yes, I am chitting rock crabs because the monkey madness spot is just filled with PKs right now. Fuck, I forgot to record it. 70 farming, by far the hardest skill on Dead Man to get. And it's the final skill. We can now do Song of the Elves. We've done all the quests and now we have all the skills done. Uh, holy shit, this is, this is crazy. Oh my. Okay, one more bolt to 99 ranged. And, oh, one more. There we go. 99 ranged. 1013's here. We're finally doing Song of the Elves, bro. Oh my, why am I in the... It's fucking boss, I can't teleport. Wait, what? Yeah, so telly. Home tab. It doesn't let me. Oh, it does. 78 attack. We can now wear out Zerial stuff. I think that's it. Finally! I think, I think that's quest complete, bro. Quest complete. Oh, it feels so good. Good. Guess I would like to learn Augury. Thank you. Using Mystic Might is so shit. All right, we did a little bit of swapping to get some better gear. Now that we're going to be in a dangerous area pretty much 24-7 trying to get the bows in um, the Corrupted Gauntlet as the Gauntlet is in a dangerous area. Kill count number one. Can we get the bow on first kill count? Sad. Bro, look at these alcopos. They're three rune pickaxes and all of these rubies and diamonds. And this is dead man mode, which means this is some insane money. Kill count number nine. Are we gonna get anything? And we are not. Number 11. Shit fuck. Shit fuck. Shit fuck. Forgot to cook my food. For oh, this stupid game. Okay, kill count number 14 coming in. Oh, 100k cash. That's actually really useful. The rate is still over one to 10. So this 100k is literally worth over a mil on old school RuneScape. Oh, our first crystal armor seed. Let's go. Please make my shield. Thank you. All right, we did go on for about an hour and this is all the loot we obtained. Now look at this. Look how much we're gonna sell this for. Pretty much everything is sold and as you can see just over 2 million gp in one and a half to two hours and if we have a quick look at the current rates in the most popular discord you can see that it is buying at eight selling at 15 so let's say in the middle at 12 which means in two hours work we made over 24 million old school runescape gp which is pretty crazy oh another crystal weapon seat you count number 27 and we oh <gasps> Dude, that's our first crystal armor seed. Okay, sweet. So we need another four more of these. We can get ourselves the crystal body and legs. All right, now recorded late on this next clip and I fucking regret it. Oh my God, you got pet. No, I wasn't recording, but I got the pet. I wonder what the odds of this is. Look, I've, I've recorded like every single clip and the one clip I don't record. His name's Young Leaf. Young Leaf. Young Leaf. Young Leaf. No, I'm calling him Fruit Loop. This is fruit loop for now on. Nice. Three to go. Figured I'd take a quick break and get my mage cape too. Thank you very much, sir. I will not be seeing you again. All right, so you remember how I forgot to record when I got my pet? Um, About an hour and a half later, this happened. I just, I wasn't even recording it and I got the bow. Fucking trolling. I'm not trolling. <laughs> I didn't, not. I didn't fucking record it, bro. I'm such an idiot. Turn it on, cuz. 
Oh, it is now. Now this is the second enhanced crystal seed that is in the game as of today. Now in order to turn this into a bow, I need to get myself 77 crafting and smithing, and then use a special sigil to boost my stats by five. Crafting done, smithing done. Bow of ferret in it. Oh my, yo, 100k XP, what the shit? Bro, we have it. The bow of fair dinkum. Oh, that looks so good. Gotta stay here for a little bit longer and get two more armor seats. Shouldn't take too long. There's number four and there's number five. Yes, please. Sweet. Let's get to a safe zone because being in dangerous with all this stuff is scary. All right, guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. What a journey it was. Not long ago, we bought some upgrades such as the Vesta's Longsword, bought the Ring of Suffering, the Serp Helm as well, and a couple other things. Since we made quite a lot of money in the Gauntlet, we were able to afford pretty much everything. Our stats are also completed. We are a max 78 attack, 76 strength, 75 defense, max everything else except for the mage and to get that to 99, 90 HP, and that makes us just under 101 combat, making this account the perfect build for the 100 combat bracket. As of this video, it is day three slash day four. And as you can see, everyone is still in pretty shitty gear, except for Mr. Laganarium over here. Tomorrow onwards, I'm gonna try my best to do daily PKing videos in this setup or similar setups. And once again, you have to understand, this is the first dead man mode I have ever done. I still don't understand. It's a fucking root loop, bro. As if he called, as if he called my Fruit Loop a rat. Let's make him red. Now he's angry. Yeah, anyway, so I don't understand dead man mode mechanics at the moment, especially like bank fighting and how to escape and so on. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna die. Like it's pretty much inevitable. And really quickly as well, remember when I said at the beginning of the video that I wanted to get this because it's such a broken weapon? Well, at plus 196 accuracy bonus, it can hit a 62. And that's at whip speed. So safe to say, I think PK is gonna be quite interesting. Oh my, I walked into a guarded area. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.